everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to F122, episode 24 here. Here's McLaren and Pato Award. I'm heading to round three of the 2023 season, Emilia Romana Grand Prix at Imola. Um, before we do that, got some new parts coming to the car, more resource points. Um, we'll probably wait a week to get those extra points before burning some stuff in. Um, current development here, Red Bull's P3 in terms of overall performance, but they got the dream lineup of Verstappen and Leclerc. So they're still running away with things at the moment. Ferrari has the best developed car over Mercedes. Alpine over McLaren. Um, oh, wait, what am I doing? Hang on. All right, so engine components are all looking good there. Don't need to switch anything out yet. Very good. Um, quick review of driver's standings. We are currently P4 tied with Daniel Ricciardo. Charles Leclerc has won both races so far this season, so he's got a 21-point lead over Carlos Sainz. Red Bull currently leading the Constructors by 9 points over Ferrari. And we're P4, just 2 points behind uh, Mercedes. Um, do apologize if it does sound like I got mush mouth. Apparently I found out last night I'm allergic to cashews, so my face kind of, you know, blew up. Um, it's gotten better. But, uh... I know we were expecting yeah. some oh, new no. developments to come through. But some of them have failed quality control. Boo. Okay, so let's see here. Department leader is more experienced than we decide with, with them. Stuff. The department wants me to pass on their thanks for helping. So are they like automatically developing the aero parts now? I don't know. But anyways, yeah, so if it sounds like you're listening to this and you're like, I got no idea what the hell he's saying. My bottom lip's still swollen and it's kind of getting in the way when I talk. Fun! Anyways, got our extra resource points in there. Let's take a look, see what failed. Front wing gurney flap. All right, so we're going to have to burn points on that, which is unfortunate. Got 1,900 left at the moment. Do we want to work on the further arrow upgrades? Maybe not. Chassis. Do need to work on the chassis upgrades. We're down pretty low there. Let's go ahead and get those ready. Got 600 points left in the bank. And we're just going to store those for the next race. So, ready to go. Off to Imola. Well, here we are qualifying for Imola. Uh, I'm not exactly sure where the pace is. I know Lando's quick. He was P2 in practice, but when we wanted to our qualifying lap. Uh, we had some rain on the track, so don't really know where we are on the soft tire. Do you know, setup-wise, going with the increased downforce here, just to help turn in. Uh, not a big fan of the high-speed corners here. I think it's just this track specifically, but uh, advance time a little bit. Off we go for our first flyer. Signs also is going on his flyer. Maybe we can get a toe off of him. Though again with the extra arrow on the front. It's going to hurt us just a little bit on the straightaways, but that's okay. Because if I can handle like the corners like that, then I don't mind. Signs going to get held up on that lap by whoever that is coming out of the pits. Salvan. Please yield, thank you. Gotta be careful with attacking the curbs, can really take a hit to the underbody, it's kind of missed that chicane right there. Signs actually completely coming in there. Let's see where we come out here. Oh, that's not good. Well, slapped on a new set of softs, headed back out. All the way down P19. The first slower was Signs, he didn't even turn a lap, so... I figured something out here. Maybe he went the wrong way on bouncing towards the uh, downforce. Here's George, our championship rival, at least temporarily. get here.
All right, well, it's not gonna guess pole. Uh, 16th, jeez. Gotta do better than that. Do have a sprint race though, so we can gain some spots back that way. Okay, we're only a second off, which isn't terrible. I mean, it could be much better. Lando's in P7, but uh, top 10 starters for the sprint should be Sainz, Hamilton, Leclerc, Verstappen, Ricardo, George, Lando, Pierre Gasly, Kevin Magnussen, and Fernando Alonso. Off the sprint. Expecting a dry After race here for the sprint. It's going to be very cloudy going. here. Um, two tires to choose from, mediums and the soft tire. Soft tires aren't going to work, that's for sure. So, move that stint. Just going to go on the softest tire we can, which will be the medium. And let's get to it. Don't want to take any, well, we'll take a little bit of fuel out. Because, remember, that's what cost us the victory at the Australian Grand Prix. Us running out of fuel at the end, so not going to take as much out for the feature or the sprint, and off we go for battle. Okay, a bit late off the line there. I should be able to fend everyone off there. Eyes forward. See if he's trying to fling it down the left. I guess he got it. Got bobbled up on a curve there. Oh, that's actually Joe on you. All right, so that's not optimal. This might be a sprint to forget here. What do you think I'm doing? Send it. Or not. I'm going to fling this down the side here. Well, we're going to try at least. We are way too aggressive here, but passing zones aren't really wide enough to really try anything. Okay, that's gonna help us. Still stuck in 18th, but okay. Edison out of the session. I didn't even know he was sitting there. Uh huh. Or him to go wide. Okay, that'll work. Take both of them out of DRS range. That works. Hey, that's us with five laps of fuel five laps of fuel See if we can move around here. That's a bit bold. That's us up a spot.
Not done yet. Move over. Ooh, they're fanning out up there. Might have some more spots. Okay, gap to the car ahead is 1.6 seconds. Ooh, what happened? The track is clear, green flag. Get some, we got a chunk of something coming off there. Ooh, right, Georgetown session. Okay, that'll help us. Right, there he is on the left. Like Here we go, one okay, to go in the sprint. Over on the outside, maybe. Okay. That's not going to work. Got clobbered by Snowda there. We're going to lose all our spots, probably. Fantastic. All that worked for nothing. Maybe. Maybe it's to the end. No, here comes Stroll. Uh, we are flying there too. Oh uh, well, we're going to need a Hail Mary getting the points here in the feature. What we kind of do is just block at this point. Ferrari gets the win at Imola in the sprint. Carlos signs victorious. Oh, you don't. All right, we'll take P15 here. Well, Lando improves one spot, and I think that's because of uh, George Russell's issues. But uh, top three there, signs Leclerc and Hamilton. Leclerc gets around Hamilton. Get an extra point towards the constructors and driver standings. Signs wins by four and a half seconds, though, so pretty convincing there. Um, rest of the top ten, Verstappen, Ricardo, Norris, Gasly, Ocon, Alonso, Schumacher, Botas. Well, Botas, P11, but yeah, we're P15. At least we're going to be uh, doing better than George here. So, that's a start. All right. Well, once again, pretty cloudy to start here. It's going to get a bit more uh, sunny as we progress here. Going to start on the medium tire and um, just go to the hard tire. Not going to really tweak the... No, once again, we're going to keep the fuel where it's at. Not tweaking the laps here. Uh, should be on the hard tire through the sunnier stints. Or sunnier stint. But uh, should be pretty good. I'm pretty happy with everything right here. Once again, we got the uh, Park for May regulations locking us into our increased arrow. Pretty happy with how we're looking now. Off to the feature. E14. What happened? Is that Ferrari back there? I can't tell. Stroll getting by on the left. Fighting back though. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Fight back on the left. Big cut. Okay, got bars into by Latifi there.
It's not a soft tire, so he's going for a two-stopper, looks like. Full decision there. Magus is trying to get by, but it's a left-hander, though. So I don't think so. That back. What did we learn? All right, so P15 after one lap. Remember, we got to be a bit aggressive on the curbs here. Let's get to work on that. Bit of a messy pass there, but got it done. Great Car's fine. So Wasn't really expecting that to be like a passing zone there, but you know. Make it work. Here's enable. Let's just be aggressive to stay within range here. Oh, let's try around the left here. This might be a risky place to try passing. And you're in P13. Boy, that's been like the best corner for us all day. Might be able to get a few more through there. Crossover. I just love that corner. It's fantastic. We're not done yet. Or Mick's gonna be all on his own right here. Protecting the inside, we got the DRS going.
That's actually a lot cleaner than I thought it'd be, but we're up in the points now. It's five seconds up the road to Alonso, we'll see if we close that up. All right, Carlos Sainz coming in the pits now. Edgy was still leading. Okay, we're boxing this lap. Give us the best in lap you can. Works for me. I don't know if anyone else is really pitting yet, so. It's surprised he's coming in a lap earlier than that, so we're got kind of on the Three, default setup. Sainz is going to be stuck behind Schumacher and Botas at least, so that could hurt him. Magnuson now in session, he's behind us though. Gassi and Alonso come in the pits. Here we come as well. Ow. Cardo coming in. Verstappen coming in. Down away. 2.3 very quick. There goes signs past us. Alonso jumps Gassi in the pits, look like. So if they're going to have Lando stay out an extra lap. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. Oh, made up a lot on Gasly through there. All right, it's new hard tires. Going to take a little bit to get a temperature in them. Should set sail here just a little bit. Lando on the pits now. Totally botched that corner. Coming in for stop now. No, everybody's still good. Not sure where we got the little red indication down there. I thought they usually mean some damage on the car. Back in the points. Caution up ahead. Oh, gas is broken. Okay, well we were tracking him down anyway. And up there P7, let's see if we go get Alonzo here. Okay, the car behind is dropping back, we're seeing a gap starting to fall. expecting that, but they really figured it out. 
these tires. Problem is, I think we're kind of churning through them pretty quick. I don't care. Trying to get as much track position as we can right now. Knowing the way this track is, should be able to defend pretty easily. See if he's out of session. He's behind us, so I don't really care as much. If I get anybody in front besides Lando to retire, that'd be great. Okay, clear. Still slowly catching up. Got six to go. Below two seconds now, we should be able to get some. Yeet! You're a little wide there. Definitely close up here. Got three to go now. Going hard on the battery here. If we get around Lando, we'll get around Lando. We're higher than him in okay, driver's there. points anyway. That hurt. Still up there though. See, it's that corner all the time. It just, like, really helps us out here. Don't think we're going to get up to DRS zone here. Information on Ocon. They've got an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Sweet. Give me a freebie. Let's go. Two to go. George takes fast lap. Ooh, they're fighting now. Lando with a good pass up there. Lons is trying to get around his teammate. Ocon goes wide. I'm sure the Alpine debrief is going to go really well. Alonso, I don't believe, is going to be within DRS range, so he's going to be a sitting duck here. Down the inside, don't you dare try to stop me. I 
Alright, Ricardo. Three and a half seconds up ahead of Lando. Okay, gap ahead is 2.1 seconds. Gotta try playing keep away from the Alpine here. If we catch Lando, that's great, but... I think it's going to happen at this juncture. Ooh, we took a look. And winner. It's a flurry for fastest lap. Charles Leclerc. Three for three this season. Signs I think got held up in traffic by pitting way too early. Lando going across the line P6. We recovered P7. It's a pretty good recovery drive right there. All right. So your podium, Leclerc, Hamilton, Signs. The rest of the top ten, Verstappen, Ricardo, Lando, ourselves, Alonzo, Ocon, George Russell climbing up ten spots with fastest lap to finish P10. The rest of the field, Schumacher, Botas, Sonoda, Vettel, Albon Stroll, Joe Guan Yu, Latifi, Gasly, and Magnussen. The latter three not finishing the race. Uh, results from the weekend. Leclerc gets the most points. Eight more than Lewis. Current standings. Well, with his third victory of the season, it's now a 30-point lead early for Charles Leclerc here over Carlos Sainz, former Ferrari teammate. We stay in P5. We're eight points behind Ricardo now as Lando gets up to P8. He's 11 points behind us. Constructors, Red Bull has a choke hold on it so far. 21 points over Ferrari. 52 points ahead of Mercedes as Mercedes is now 11 points ahead of us. Got some more work to do. All right, so coming up before we head to Miami, going to have uh, new parts to the car. Obviously more resource points coming in the week. And the chassis factory. Our chassis department is going to get an upgrade, so that will help going ahead in the future because we got a lot of work to still do on the chassis. But that's going to do it for this episode of F122. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to that notification bell. And to everybody, thank you for watching.